Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about some of the people. Um, before we get into the actual mess, um, Cassie has released a statement. And this is what Cassie had to say. Um, Thank you for all of the love and support from my family, friends, strangers, and those I have yet to meet. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now. But this is the only, but this is only the beginning. DV is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. Thank you to everyone that has taken time um, to take this matter seriously. My only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. It takes a lot of heart to tell the truth out of a situation that you were powerless in. I offer my hand to those that are still living in fear. Reach out to your people. Don't cut them off. No one should carry this weight alone. This healing journey is never ending, but this support means everything to me. Thank you. Love always, Cassie. Shout out to Cassie and shout out to all the other women and men, non-binary, non-gender conforming, um, any person who could possibly still be going through a situation like this, those who made it out of a situation like this, and you know those, unfortunately, who probably lost their life um, in a situation like this. Um, so just nothing but love and positivity. You know, we love Cassie over here, honey. You know, some of y'all online girl acting carry and all. I don't like some of the comments. I can't do nothing about it, but I don't like some of the comments that I've been seeing. Girl, we've already talked about it. I've pretty much said what I've had to say. Um, I kind of knew, I kind of knew, just not me, some of us, kind of knew what was about to happen, even when the, the tape even when we saw with our own eyes, you know, y'all swear, but now y'all want proof. Girl, girl like, the, like the line is always moving. No, for real. Like at one, one minute you want proof, then you get the proof, and then it's, oh, well, now she's not black enough. You say you want proof, now you have proof. Now it's, oh, she was still in $100,000. Girl, you say you want proof, now you want proof, oh, she was still in a Rolex. Like, girl. Girl. My goodness. But I'm not getting worked up today. All right. <laughs> but I do now, now let's get into this mess. I told y'all. I, I I you know what? I'm gonna I am gonna be on my I told you so until the end of season 16. Girl. Cause that's what I'm on right now. So Simon Gubadia. Girl. <laughs> Simon is going to be dragging Portia. I told y'all. Simon came out on his, uh, this is uh, was posted on the Neighborhood Talk. Simon posted on his Instagram page, um, question. Because, <laughs> you know, the last couple of days. So for those who don't know, Shamia received the Rolls Royce. And Simon, let me go to it. Simon left a comment. I, I, I don't know where it was posted that she, I don't know how they got the footage of Shamia. Clearly somebody was recording it on their phone when Shamia got the Rolls Royce, but I don't know. Um, I don't know, like, I went to Simon's page to see if Simon posted it, and I went to Shamia's page to see if she posted it. Like, I couldn't find it, so I don't know who, I don't know how the neighborhood talk got the footage. I guess it really doesn't matter. Anyways, so Simon put under um, the post of whoever posted it. Congratulations, my good sis at Shamia Morton. I'm so happy for you. My brother Gerald has excellent taste in fine automobile. Look forward to watching the only cast member with a RR Rolls Royce. <laughs> and then Portia responded back and said, Simon, don't forget in a debt free, a debt free husband and a, who is a US citizen. That's what she said. She said, in the U.S. citizens. Um, my bestie is winning. Welcome to RHOA Queen Mumbi. Is that how you say her last name? That's her marital name. So her, him and Portia have been going back and forth about Portia, whether or not she got a Rolls Royce. Portia has a Rolls Royce. So today, so today Simon came back, and this is what he had to say on Twitter. Um, Question, would you rather cry homeless in a Rolls Royce or in a Honda Civic? <laughs> 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 
Question, would you rather cry homeless in a Rolls Royce or a Honda Civic? Because you know right now they're arguing, going back and forth over wh whether or not Portia, I guess, can legally film in the home, <laughs> their marital home. Girl, and then um, Portia responded and said, valid green card or debt free? Simon with a heart. <laughs> Girl. And then Simon came back and he wrote Proverbs 26 um, and 11, Amplified Bible. Like a dog that returns to his vomit is a fool who, re who repeats his foolishness. Never again. And then I put in the comment section. Girl, hold on. Let me see what I put in the comment section. And I put in the comment section, remember hashtag love wins? Now they're Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Girl, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, for those who don't know what that is, that's a movie. Girl, that was a movie with Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Oh, that's what they sort of have. You know, you know, Brad Pitt was married to Jennifer Aniston. And then him and him and him and Angela did that movie together. And then Angie, <laughs> Angie stole that ex marriage. <laughs> she walked out. Of, she walked out that movie set with <laughs> girl with that lady's husband and her head of sight. <laughs> but girl, is a girl. You know what they say, girl. They say they say Brad was wearing Angie low, so Angie probably was wishing she would have left him where she found him at on that movie set. Hello. Well, it was a movie about Angelina and uh, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. They're basically both um, like secret spies. They don't know that each other is a spy, but they're married to each other. And their job is to basically, I think they're supposed to take take one like take each other out. <laughs> and so, girl, they 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 met, they married each other, and girl, they just turned up the house shooting at each other. <laughs> girl, it was a mess. And then I think some people started coming after them. And so I think they had to work together. I can't remember. I saw the movie a couple of times. Um, but yeah, that, that whenever you hear me say Mr. and Mrs. Smith, is I'm referring to the movie with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, the married couple that were in love, but then all of a sudden, girl, they started shooting at each other and turned that whole house to shreds, baby. Anyways, Simon, Simon, Simon is going to, I told y'all, Simon is going to swing Portia every which way but loose. This is right up his alley. Simon is pretending as if he does not want those cameras in, the, in that house. Simon wants those cameras in, the, in that house. Simon wants to be on television. Simon wanted the fame. Y'all say he had, he, was, he had a net worth of $40 million. For some people, the money isn't enough. They want the fame. His way to get the fame was to go and get somebody who he knows would and that was Portia it's just like Sheree like Martel really tried to use Kenya to get on the show right Kenya didn't take the bait because Kenya's too smart for that well I mean girl she did get with Mark girl um okay um so then he went after Sheree and Sheree was foolish enough to allow that man to come on her platform because it ain't like Sheree was gaining it's no shade to love and marriage Huntsville. You know, I watched the show, whatever, whatever, whatever. But girl, Sheree, it wasn't a come up for Sheree to go down to on TV. It was a come up for Martel because now he's exposed to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, girl, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Hashtag love wins, hashtag be his peace. <laughs> well, she found her a good one. She got her a good man, Savannah. Y'all just jealous because y'all ain't got no man. Y'all just hating on Portia. She about to be a kept woman. Quit all her jobs and y'all mad. I will quit my jobs too. I got. She found her rich husband. She got her fairy tale. That's her Prince Charming. Y'all just hating because y'all ain't got no man. Well, girl, she ain't got one either. <laughs> okay. We all in the same boat. <laughs> man, it's... <laughs> girl okay anyway maybe listen to this so this is according to usa today median home sale price surpasses nine hundred thousand dollars in california for the first time so the median sale price for homes in california uh passed nine hundred thousand dollars for the first time new data shows according to the california association of realtors the median price of an, of an existing single family home statewide was nine hundred four thousand two hundred and ten dollars in april up 5.8% from March and up 11.4% from April 2023, according to data released May the 17th. Uh, the new high is not likely to end, according to the organization, as a mix of seasonal factors and limited housing supply is likely to keep pushing prices up in the coming months. 
California, while far outranking the national average, fit in the national uh, trend for April. Um, the National Association of Realtors reported the median existing home sale price grew to its grew to its highest ever for the month of April, four hundred seven thousand six hundred dollars. Girl, some say the housing market over the last few months has been the most expensive in recent memory, and California is one of the most expensive places to live. Um, raising home prices and mortgage rates play a big role, but inflation has also pushed up the cost of necessary basics like, uh, like utilities, health care, and child care. Girl, this is a mess. Girl, according to the analysis by G, uh, GO Banking Rates, the American dream, getting married, raising two kids, owning a home, a car, and a pet is the, is the most expensive in Hawaii. By their calculation, it costs $260,374 annually per year. I mean, per couple to live there, including dis uh, discretionary spending and savings. But California was a close second coming in at $245,723. You hear what they just said? So if you want to live the American dream, getting married, raising two kids, owning a home, a car, and a pet, the most expensive was in Hawaii. And it cost over $260,000 per couple to live there. In California, if you want to live the American dream by getting married, raising two kids, owning a home, a car, and a pet, girl, it's two, over $245,000. And Illinois, calculated to be right in the middle of the pack at the 26th least expensive, costs over $156,000 a year. Girl, this is a mess, girl. So, girl, we're going to be living under the freeway. Girl, my goodness, this don't make no sense. That's what I need to talk about. Girl, I just, girl, I just got mad. Girl, that we, we were just having a conversation the other day, and I was saying that if anybody told me they lived in California and they told me that they lived in a million dollar house, I would believe it. Was I not just saying that the other day? I was just saying that. And y'all don't get no bang for y'all buck in California. Girl, when I tell you, girl, I know y'all up there selling coochie. Girl, you, ain't, you ain't got no choice. Girl, I know y'all selling coochie and all the things that you can sell. Girl, it is hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to make the money from the rent. Okay? And girl, like, I, I watch, you know, I watch HGTV a lot. And <laughs> I'm looking at some of these people buying some of these homes. And it's like, oh, it's a two bedroom, one bath, 750000 <laughs> It's 1,200 square feet. Girl, no, girl, 950 square feet. Girl, hold on. What did you say? You said it's nine hundred fifty square feet, girl, and it's seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's a two bedroom, one bath house, and they're like, "Oh, but this is really nice." Girl, the backyard is a good size, girl. No, it's not, girl. No, it's not, girl. No, it is not, sister. Girl, you can go right to Katy, Texas, and get you a brand new house, girl. Five bedroom, six baths, girl, built from the ground up for seven fifty. Okay, with girl, probably probably on two acres of land. <laughs> okay, girl. If you if you go farther out, you can probably get you about five acres. <laughs> okay, girl. You can move to Missouri City, get you a look, get you a house that's probably been built, been built for about ten years. A little brick is gonna have some panel in the back though. Girl, get you a little five bedroom, six bathroom house for about four fifty. Girl, three fifty. I'm I'm dead serious, girl. It's it's crazy. It, the, it, it's just it, at, at some point at some point it, it's almost like they don't want you to make it you know what I'm saying like it's like they don't want like there it should be no reason why living should cost this much there should be no reason why you have people out there working two and three and girls selling coochie and dick on the side just in order to pay the bills like nobody should have to work multiple jobs in order to just survive. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Girl, rent is high, and girl, these apartments ain't about made of nothing. You pay, you girl, we be paying all this money in rent, and girl, <laughs> they look, they be cute. But girl, you ain't, you ain't even got, you ain't got no real cabinetry, girl. That ain't nothing. Girl, that, ain't, that, ain't, girl, that ain't nothing. That ain't, that ain't nothing but wallpaper thrown on some cabinets, basically.
that's what I'm saying. Like, girl, it's just, it's just like, I don't know, girl, California, like, you know, I wouldn't mind living in LA quiet as it's kept. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but girl, you know, I'm not living on anywhere either. <laughs> Hello? Who? <No. laughs> not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> okay. Um, but girl, not if I gotta go. Girl, not if I girl, not if I gotta girl, I can't go to California. Not if I gotta have a back page up. Girl, not if I gotta have a Craigslist ad up. I'm gonna say right here, girl. I'm gonna say right here just for a few more months until we can get it together. And then once I can find something that's in my price range. And that's another thing too, girl. When you be wanting to move, you have to you have to like put in your head that girl things don't run the same way that things run down here in Texas. Like you know, I mean, I always look around like I'm like, oh shit, you know, I have this thing about moving, and I'm looking at apartments. Like I know for a fact this apartment that I'm in right now will probably run me the same exact apartment will probably run me about five to six, girl, in New York. This apartment will probably run me about four to five in uh in downtown LA. Girl, wait, girl who paid four to five? Girl. Who? 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 Girl, not me. Some of y'all paying it, I know. Girl. I don't know how y'all doing it, honey. I don't like giving them girl, I don't like giving them the little change I pay over here for this apartment. You got me mad every time. This is too much. <laughs> this is too much. Girl, this is too much for rent. This don't make no sense. And girl, you know they charge for everything. You know you want to try to live in a decent apartment, girl. Them decent apartments, girl, they be having, girl, they want to charge you for everything, girl. They gonna start charging us to walk on a goddamn sidewalk in a couple of weeks. Girl. But shout out to everybody in California, honey. I don't know how y'all doing it. Don't come to Texas. We fool. <laughs> okay. Girl, every time I look at girl, go and say it's so many people that so many people that, that move to Texas. And I get it, because the cost of living in comparison to like California, New York, you know, is is way cheaper, girl. You can live a decent life down here. <laughs> like I said, girl, you up in California, girl, you selling fish plates. Girl, and barbecue plates. Girl, spaghetti and a little bread on the side. Got a little salad. I got a little can of soda, girl, ten dollars, girl, fifteen dollars a plate. And girl, you gotta go home, with girl, wash off, girl, clean the cooch, clean, girl, clean the bus. Shout out to the, shout out to the boys, shout out to the sex, shout out to, shout out to the sex workers, girl. You know you gotta go home and girl, dish and clean the bus, <laughs> girl. Now you gotta go sell ass. <laughs> then you gotta get up at six and then go to work, girl. What the hell? Girl, I'm selling plates, selling ass, and I still gotta go to work. I ain't got time for all that. It's too much. That's too much for me. I ain't doing it. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, shout out to the girls in California, baby. All right, y'all. Kelly Rowland. Mm-hmm. Y'all know Kelly. Girl, you know Kelly been letting the girls have it. Girl, she let she let she told the girls, girl, I'm not. Girl, you are not putting me in no closet at Good Morning America, right? And, you know, she had an incident with this white lady. Girl, you know, I, part of the re, part of it is that white, girl, you're not talking to me crazy. Keisha ain't talking to me crazy. But Karen, damn show ain't talking to me crazy. Okay? that's That was a big part of the problem. Ain't nobody talking to me crazy. But you damn show ain't. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So anyways, a lady had stepped on Kelly's dress, was blocking her way, trying to hurry up and push her off of the red carpet and Kelly was trying to take pictures. I mean, girl, on some real stuff, part of the part of promoting yourself is making sure your face is out there. So Kelly need like they have to take the pictures. They want their faces out there, right? It's about being relevant and all the other stuff that comes with that, right? So anyways, this is what Kelly had to say in response to um the video that got out when she had the exchange with the white lady. The the woman knows what happened. I know what happened, and um, I have a boundary, and I stand by those boundaries, and that is it. And there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me, and they didn't get there, scolded, or pushed off, or told to get off. 
And um, I stood my ground. And she felt like she had to stand hers, but I stood my ground. I'm with Kelly. I'm sorry. On some real stuff, all jokes aside, it doesn't matter who it is, white, black, Hispanic, A, it doesn't matter. Girl, you're not going to talk to me crazy. And from what the people say, girl, they real funny acting when it comes to this <laughs> over there. I don't know. I ain't ever been over there, so I don't know. But they say the people real could be, could be, could be, could be funny acting when it comes to stuff like this. Okay? Um... But I'm Team Kelly. Shout out to Kelly Rowland. Um, girl, you got to tell people how you got you got to let people know you're not going to talk to me crazy. You're going to treat me a certain way. Hello. And if you don't, girl, <laughs> the next time you'll know. <laughs> I bet you when you see me tomorrow, I bet you when you see me tomorrow, I bet you won't say shit to me. I bet you I bet you when I come back tomorrow and I get on the red carpet, Miss Karen, I bet you're going to look at me and turn your head the other way. Because I done told you what's going to happen the other day. <laughs> You don't talk to me that way. You won't talk to me that way. Okay? Huh. Period. All right. Anyways, I'm gone, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.